Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com. Some of you out there may not realize that YouTube has become more strict with their terms of service and community guidelines. Make sure you check out my video that outlines it very boldly, very easily, for anyone to understand what you're not allowed to do on YouTube. But I'll give you a couple examples. Take example for this guy. He believes that he is using my videos as fair use. He thinks that he can put my entire content up on his channel and refer to me as a cunt. Calling me a cunt is an abusive word. Sitting there calling me names over and over, this is not criticism. This is not fair use. Fair use states very clearly in the policy that if what you're doing to another person's content is meant to disparage them or cause harm or any kind of issues that may tarnish the original content holder, then you have violated fair use, you have violated terms of use, you have violated community guidelines, and also stealing other people's contents is worthy of a DMCA. Now, some of you out there, you may realize that in the past, I have done tutorials on how to show how to report people. And I don't care if people are bothered by it. I don't care if you get angry about it, because you're not going to bully me into just sitting back and doing nothing about it. I'm going to show Christians, Muslims, pagans, and Jews how to deal with people like this. As the YouTuber We Are Empty Without a Brain has discovered, They've been reported before and they got their pink slip. Now we're going to go through this and I'm going to show you how this is done. And you can see that the trolls out there enjoy this type of content where someone will do these kind of things to you. Let me show you how this works. This is not false flagging by the way. There is no such thing as false flagging ladies and gentlemen. I used to think that there was. I used to think that people could false flag you, but it's not the case. What happens is, is you click on more, right there. You click on report. You click, I'm not a robot. Yep, says I've recently flagged several videos. Please complete the challenge. Okay. So what am I supposed to do here? Mm, damn. Okay. Well, I'll have to figure out how this works. I guess we'll hit continue. Oh, that's all I had to do. You see that? So if you've already reported several videos, which you just seen that I have, you're going to see me do this again. I consider calling Brett Keen a cunt as extremely abusive. And here I go. Let me go ahead and get my TOS. Let me put this up. Violates terms of service and community guidelines. Calls me cunt several times and steals content of mine without permission. Also enjoys coming to my channel calling me various names. Thank you, YouTube, for dealing with this abusive person who violates oh, violates your rules yeah so when I click submit which I'm about to do see how I get all these different abilities and figuring out 
how I want to get him. I just sit, sit there and do that and then I click submit which I'm doing right now and YouTube is going to see that. Notice the video is still there. I didn't make his video disappear. I didn't make his video go away. I just simply sent information into YouTube and then YouTube is going to look at it and they're going to decide if this person is going to go. Now, empty without a brain, he probably thinks that he's safe and that he's fine, that he's going to get away with this. The problem is, is that a lot of YouTubers out there who've had much, much more subscribers and viewers than he could ever hope for have tried to do the same thing to Brett King. They've tried to do this to me. There was a guy a while back that had over 100,000 subscribers and viewers by the name of Coughlin who continuously attacked me and many other people. And not only did I report him for the videos that he did to me, but I also reported him for the abuse that he did to others. Now the guy has hardly nothing on YouTube. And if he starts his bullshit again, he'll go bye-bye as well. I don't have any remorse or regret or sympathy for bullies. I came to YouTube in order to upload content. I did not come to YouTube with the intention of flagging and reporting and going through bullshit literally every single day. This is not something I want to do. It's not something I enjoy doing. But I can assure you after this person's YouTube channel is gone, I'm not going to lose any sleep and I probably will sit down with my beautiful wonderful family, enjoy a good superhero movie and have me a nice hot steak afterwards and I won't give two shits what happens to this guy's channel. If you go to his channel, you're going to notice that almost every single one of his video is an attack video of me or many other people. And I'm just not putting up with it. This is considered harassment, and the fact that he attacks a lot of religious people would be considered hate speech. Now, for the Muslims, Christians, pagans, and Jews, I repeat, do not report someone unless they are abusive. Do not do it if they're just criticizing a view or an ideology. Only do it if they went over the line to abusive behavior. Thank you and God bless.